In this video, we solve problem 1.1.15 from Nagel's Fundamentals of Differential Equations, seventh edition. We're asked to write a differential equation that fits a differential or that fits a physical description. Basically, this is just about translating a problem statement into, into math. Um, we're taking this and we're writing it as an equation. Um, so one thing that I'll tell all my students is that whenever you're doing this, when you have a word problem and you need to translate it into a differential equation, whenever you hear rate or you see references to rate of change, in the absence of context, um, I, we will assume that that is an instantaneous rate of change. of some variable with respect to some other variable. So that's going to be a derivative. Um, so when this says the rate of change in the temperature T of coffee at time T, that is the derivative of this variable, capital T, the temperature, with respect to this variable, lowercase t. Um, so the beginning of this um, sentence as translated into an equation is the derivative of temperature with respect to time. And when you see is, that's an equal sign. And then it says is proportional to the difference between the temperature M of the air at time T and the temperature of the coffee at time T. Um, First, we need to understand what this word proportional means. If I see, or if I'm told that Y is proportional to X, proportional to X, what that means is that Y is equal to a constant times X. As X goes up, uh, Y is K times X. So if K is positive, as X increases, uh, Y increases, as x decreases, uh, y decreases. If k is negative, they have the opposite relationship. Um, but this is just saying that there's a linear relationship. If this is proportional to this, there's a linear relationship between x and y, where k is a constant of proportionality. And that's usually to be determined by us. So it's a constant of proportionality. It looks like a variable in this equation because we don't know what that constant is yet, but it's a constant. So this might be y equals 3x or y equals 1 5th x or y equals negative 100 x. Um, it depends on the application. But if we know that y is proportional to x, we know it has this relationship where k is some constant to be determined. So when they say um, the rate of change in the temperature t of coffee at time t is proportional to, that means that this rate of change is proportional to, that means it's equal to k times whatever they say next. And what is it proportional to? It's proportional to this, the difference. So we're gonna subtract between the temperature of the air at time t, and they're saying temperature um, m of the air at time t, and the temperature of the coffee at time t. So they're saying temperature of the air at time t is represented by m of t. Temperature of the coffee at time t is represented by capital T of t, because that's capital T is the temperature of the coffee. We we're told that earlier. And the difference between the two of those is, is just this. It's m of t minus t of t. Um, so that's all we're doing here is we're just taking this sentence apart when you see is, think equals. When you see is proportional to, that means equals k times something. And what this is telling us is that this variable over here, which was a rate of change, so it was the derivative of t with respect to t, is proportional to, means is equal to k times. And then we had to interpret this last part of the sentence, the difference between the temperature m of the air at time t and the temperature of the coffee at time t, and that difference is denoted that way. Um, so that is one way that I might write the answer. Um, another way that you might write the answer is this way. 
sometimes if we don't, um, since we're looking for this temperature um, as a function of time, we don't typically write T of T over here, we just write capital T, um, that would work as well. Um, but since we don't actually know what the temperature M of the air is at time T, we really do have to keep that dependence on T right here. Unless we happen to know that the temperature of the air at time T in the environment where your coffee is happens to be constant. Maybe it's always equal to room temperature. Um, so this should work or this should work. Um, yeah, uh, those are both differential equations um, that fit this physical descri description.